Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. Same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been uh, watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me And if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe or insight You truly need to give a thumbs up and share It would be greatly appreciated Send so much love, light, protection, upliftment your way And as always, I always tell people Hey, all this right here is highly protected and very loved And um, if you're coming in to bring anything that's negative Or anything that's going uh, opposite of what I'm projecting out hey, that's coming right back to towards you a million times fold so I'll keep that if I was you and plus you know except I'm sending that back with you little love light healing and uh upliftment um and the video I'm about to do today is called twin flame 101 hey Ocus, the cruelty of the world can make you bitter the healing of the wounds can make you better but using your pain as power makes you a beast bow it sure do you, you just really don't know all the different things that you have gone through, you are showing people that no matter what you face, it, it may take you a little bit longer. It may, you know, it may be a process that's very slow and downright long, elongated, but it, it can really make you a beast. You know, I look at all the different things that I currently face as well. I have faced, you know, it'll be different days that I'll just be mad at the whole world. It'll be different days I'm mad at myself. It'll be different days I'll be ready to square up with God as well as the devil any day, but. It'll be those different things that when I allow myself to get out my emotions and out my feels, it's like, girl, if you did not face these things, you wouldn't know what to be working hard for. You don't know what to keep on persevering towards, you know, being dedicated to, being motivated, you know, being determined and persistent about these different things. Don't get complacent, you know, just keep moving. And you don't know that because it's just like so many different things in my life. It gave me easy access to want to be mean you know wanting me to be bitter angry at the world for different things uh allowing myself to not you know take my responsibility of the actions i partake in the different things that i add towards my life of my own suffering you know it could have been easy to do that it'd be easy when we when we given up on life that's easy to do you know well it'd be easy when we can project towards other people as everybody else's fault but our own you know, and there'll be a lot of things that may have not been your fault, but there'll be different things where you have to be able to own your own stuff. You know, and there'll be different times where, you know, when you're growing, like, uh, you know, I said in the other video is when you see a cycle about to be repeated and you pull yourself right back. Or it'll be a different thing that really happened that really just shook you to the core. And it was really hard for you to, you know, uh, really digest what happened. And you have to be able to say, you know what, this has been holding me back for too long. You know, and these are the different things where you are really facing, like, you know, really some hard wounds. It, it, it can get you, it can get very uncomfortable because it's just like you don't know, realize the more you level up, the more things you're going to face is going to be downright uncomfortable, be unbearable. You be ready to quit. You be ready to fight every damn body. You don't be diff those different things that you're really tired of dealing with. And these are the different things. It's like you don't even realize how good you got it. Because the devil keep wanting to keep showing you the different things that is out of your control. He want to keep dealing, make you deal with things where you're seeing the hastiness and the ugliness out of people surrounding you. You know, all those different things. Because he don't, he want to block that door that you about to walk open to. You know, and those are the different things that if you did not go through these things, it, it'll be, it'll be just the littlest thing. It'll be the different things that somebody agree, you know, disagree with, with you with, and you will blow it all out like you will take it so personal. Now it'll be different things where I'll be seeing, where I, I'll be looking at stuff like, I'll be looking at folks like, you are really bold. <laughs> you are really bold. Like, you, 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 oh, okay, we... There'll be some times where people play the fool a little bit too well. Like, you know, we can get ourselves in some foolish stuff. But it'll be different times where people just, you know, they know they're doing some foolish stuff and like to stay there. You you know, you were that built one that, no, you can't be doing that. And, you know, you've been doing that a little bit too long. Like, now it's time to run back. You know, these are the different things that you had to go through to be able to show you where your strengths are and where your weaknesses are. 
whatever it is that's not, you know, going straight in alignment where, you know, whatever God promised for you is already in there. They're just trying to get you in alignment to be able to receive those things so you won't be able to mess it up because you're opening a door that's going to create legacy of legacies on top of legacies. And that's the reason why it is so hard for when you really know, when you really think you're about to open that door, it's always something that want to stand in front of it. It's always something that's trying to block that. It's always somebody who always, you know, focusing on you and not focusing focusing on them you know it's always something that's trying to block you know certain situations that you're going through that you really worked hard for and these are those different things where it's like your blessings are going to come sneak up on you like nobody's not going to see it coming not even you you know and these are the different things why the battles become so hard for us you know the things that comes through and it just really you really trying to understand why do I got to keep going through this why do I you know how to keep facing these different things I thought I'd sit up here and make peace with it because there'll be a lot of times we actually thought we had healed from certain things and it can come up in a different way you know like hold up wait a minute I forgave this situation and it'll be a part of that situation that you thought you healed from and like no you healed on this part but let me bring this up and it'll be those situations like you be looking at God like why you gotta bring up old stuff you, we, we, we trying to beef right now is this, this what you're trying to do you see me sit up here having a good day and you trying to be and he's just like nah I'm not but I really I want you to have a better day but this is that situation that keeps you in that vibration of not growing because you, you are holding on to certain kind of substances that you know it'll just be like when you washing your dishes and you put them in the dishwasher and there'll be some still stucky nasty film still stuck on that and you got to go back and get it and that's what our life is right about now because there'll be so many different things that God feels like you're worthy for universe is like you know what they don't went through the trenches many times it'll be so many different things we don't placed in the life because it's just the fact is you know like I tell people all the time you watch me for a long time you'll hear me say God and devil go hand in hand but they got two different intentions on why they're using that because God will sit up here and use a devil's situation and make that your glorification okay it'll be something that's supposed to destroy you and it'll be that main thing that's going to vindicate you okay so those are those different things where i want you to see that beast i know i, I brought up into you and there's a different part of ourselves that we the more we have to go on that setback that setback that setback was always preparing you for a powerful comeback that's why a lot of times we have to go through different things where we, we we, we have to step out of our comfortability. We gotta step out of, you know, uh our our things that we get comfort in. That's why I always tell you, do something new, do something out of the box. There'll be different times, you know, I need to get back on it, but I, I try it uh, you know, different times if you've been here with me, I do my, my uh my tarot card readings or it'll be different times that I don't sell them or it'll be different times like even though I bring up my love journal cipher and stuff like that I like doing different stuff like that because it shows me to myself even though I'm like man I don't know what I'm doing but it'll be something like that you know you know I like that it'll be something jazzy but I'm doing different stuff because we all got hidden, hidden talents about it that we had we don't even know we had you know, because I love poems, you know, and I can write them down quick as day, but be trying to say it off the top of my head, you know, it'd be different when I could, you know, say it off the top of my head and write it down. But just, you know, being on here and I'm projecting this towards other people and it'll be just something that'll make me very nervous. It's just like when I was talking about my situation, what was it like about last week, week before last, I'm like, you know, you know, you know, and it was annoying the hell out of me. I'm like, I'm about to delete this video and God was like, no. This is you were so uncomfortable, but you were being so real about what you were talking about because that was very uncomfortable for you to talk about. And a lot of times you'll go back to different things. It, it took me back to my childhood where I used to get popped for saying, you know, because it would be something that was very uncomfortable. I don't like talking about. And I'll be like, you know, you know, um, you know, you know. And I'll be like, oh my God, this is annoying. And it really took me back to that. And it was like, you have to understand, I'm getting you out of your comfort zone. I'm showing you to be able to use your platform to be able to do that. This is like your your therapy this is this is something very therapeutic for you and I feel so much better when I say different things because they'll be like dad I'm so up here spitting out something you know that's very raw to me but this is something I needed to hear coming out for myself because I'm in that where I'm channeling my higher self and these are the things that you know there'll be a lot of times I'll go through stuff and I'll pick an exact video so I can come back so it'd be like my higher self like girl come on come on get with the program this is not you know this is not the same old you know run around the boat for you this is something you know about but this is that time you gotta really believe in yourself even when so many different things is telling you to go against yourself or it makes you feel like you really don't have what it takes and sometimes you have to be able to do that 
you know it, it'll be just like, like I said in the last video you know the worst war the worst battle that you can ever war up with is that one within you know right now you you trying to stay steady in that new person of you you know you try not to allow the old things to make you come back because it'll be different times where the devil don't like that new part of you he don't like the fact that you're strong he know the fact is you ain't got to sit up here and deal with his weaknesses that he trap a lot of people in and you know you trying to stay steady in your strength like i don't need you to have me somewhere where you are kind of leading me to pasture because the devil will use any and everybody and will send your butt up creek without a paddle and he will do that. And as soon as he left you, you're like, oh, well, you didn't see that coming. Let me go ahead and hit this next one up. And I'm going to let them believe I can give them all this. That's why I'll be just looking at different things. Nah, so I ain't even going to touch that one. That, <laughs> that one going to be messed up. So I'm going to just leave that one alone. But you you go through different things. And it'll be just like the devil will promise you all this and this and that. And I understand. As a matter of fact, it made me think about when I watched the new Hellraiser. Now, I watched that movie. I, I love Clyde Barker. I mean, it, it, I was, when I watched Hellraiser when I was younger back in the day, that terrified the mess out of me. I watched that mess out. Like, that really scared me, but it was just like, you know, them Cenobites I'm going to be messing with. But it'll be just different things where I seen old dude, you know, I ain't going to get into it because I know maybe some people don't want to watch that movie. I'm telling you, it was really good. It was just like a jaw dropper for me. I'm like, Y'all really getting raw. I mean, y'all getting beastly with it. But it was just like, you don't realize when you just want all the fortune and fame in the world and don't realize it, it's about to hem you up for your own death when you're doing some stuff that you know that you, oh, I got to have all this money. I got to have all these women or all these men. I got to have everybody looking at me, this and this and that. And don't realize, or you, you were like, Home, he's like, uh uh, I've seen what y'all rewards are. And I'm good. I rather live with regret. I rather live with this. I rather live with that. No, I'm good. And then he's like, you should, mm mm, I don't see how y'all do that. You know, I really see how y'all do that. And I was just like, you know, this is my favorite time of year. You know, I don't know how many other people I was like, out of all holidays, Halloween is my, my main year. Like, anybody about to go see Halloween in, please go see that movie. Because that movie was straight out the box. Like, I couldn't believe this is how Michael and them getting down. Is I'm like, y'all really had to go out. Because I really had to go out. Anybody watch Jeeper Keeper, don't do that. That one was a straight letdown. I watched that one. I watched Smile. Smile really messed me up. Like, I, it made me want to clutch my pearls and I ain't even got none on. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I was just like, man, this is really about to knock me out of the box for that because that mess was very psychological. It messed me up. Okay. It'll be different things that's going on where, you know, I, I, I get down deep, but it would be like, okay, why? You know, it'll be certain things. I tell people, universe speaks to you. Do whatever your hobbies are. If it was some music, like I was uh, when I was, um, I forgot to get that personal props because it was like the 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 title I got from uh, the last video I just did. It was talking about um, at times the hardest war of the battle. It comes from within. It came from a song called "Hold On" by All Good Things. I think that's the name of the of the group is. And when I tell you that really hit home the way it did, and it had me all up in my feels. You know, I was really going through some hard times and it tells you, you know, there's so many different things will make you want to fall short. It'll make you want to fall back and say, you know, the heck with it and not even realize and look how far you made it. Look how far you come. Look how many different obstacles were in your way that would have put somebody down in their grave, but it didn't do that with you. You know, you go through different things in life where uh, you may have seen where you had to get external validation. I, you know, when I first started on here, I wanted so bad for people to believe everything that I said. You know, always was my own worst critic, like wondering about if anybody believed me. Do, do they understand what I'm talking about? This and this. That. And I always had to always try to correct things like, oh, there are different things to saying about me on this. And it'll be a, a situation where it's not, you know, uh, about trying to correct every lie that was put out there for me. But this is the point is. Um, I'm, I'm not going to fall back and worry about, you know, uh, being quiet to save other people, but just being able to save myself and just be able to use my situation to help somebody else. Cause you don't know, it's not about you, you know, trying to correct every lie about there about you, because that means that you need external validation or you want people to see you in a better light than other people are putting you at, but it'll be at that point when people really know you really know you they gonna understand why does she treat you like that if she did that to you why does she you know because I'm, I'm a cool person but if you rub me sideways it'll be that time where you know what <sighs> artists see this is gonna be an issue between me and you because it's like oh they i was just straight shot you out 
it was all shot fire. You know, I would have just really, really popped off at you if we didn't go square up in the middle of the street. But it'll be this time where, you know, I'm not going to waste my energy on you, the situation, or, you know, anything. Because I already see this is really sucking me dry. I'm not going to deal with that. Now it's just like, I already see that you're trying to get my energy just to power yourself up. And I'm not about to get it to you, you know. Or just, you know, I'll be doing something very, this going to be therapeutic for me where I just see this as negativity for somebody else. And you really go through stuff like that where I'm making better choices with my life. Could it be, it, it'll be that time where I'll be getting mad because, you know, that person really took me there. And I'll get mad at myself and it'll be just like, you know, you got now you got to live in regret because you actually gave that person what you wanted. But now is this day, that point. Where it'll be that ego part of me where I would laugh at times. And I don't do that now, but I, I just really see that that can be a sign of very strong mental illness when people are really trying to go out and trigger you. Or, you know, it, it would get on my nerves like, why are you so worried about what I'm doing? I'm focusing on myself. You know, why I got so many people who are trying to, you know, block blessings for me. Or, you know, you're trying to make sure this don't come out or this come out. Go focus on yourself. Find something else better to do. My my project is my is going to still my, be my project. Whether you feel like you're gonna win or you're gonna ultimately lose, which you already see that's gonna be that latter. You know, on be those, on those different things. But that you know, I had to be able to see that you ain't gonna like what people do to you. You know, especially if you speak truth on different things that you don't realize how many people fear you when you do that. How many people you intimidate when you do that because they were so good at it, it, showing a persona, showing a, you know, a lie or, or whatever kind of facade they were trying to put up. When you go ahead and you say truth, be unapologetic about being you. It ain't even about, you know, all those different things. Oh, I'm going to show out on you. No, I'm going to say my truth because I'm so tired of you feeling like, oh, I'm going to live this lie. I'm going to go ahead and dog that person out because of this. I said, I'd rather be, you be hurt and be mad at me because of the stuff I did do. Not for somebody, something, somebody claim I did, you know. But then being able to allow myself to know this is what made me a beast because of the different things. that people, What desperations people were really willing to go to try to break me down, you know. They did a little dips and dabble in the dark arts or, you know, you did these little things that, you know, really distorted my, you know, appearance or whatever made me feel like that was going to make me lose confidence in myself. And I had to allow myself to know my it's like with me and my weight, my weight is always fluctuated. You know, it's like when this first situation first happened, I was loving my weight because I was tiny. You know, no matter what I did, no matter what I ate, I never gained weight. But it was just like different things. People were like, oh, we're going to make sure that somebody don't want her. Or, you know, they won't find her desirable. Or, you know, oh, she'll lose confidence. And it still made me, you know, have to go uh, within myself to be able to say, this, these are the different things that you're going to grow through no matter what you look like. You, you know, a lot of times when you're going through different stuff in your life, it's going to change how you look. It can, it can either do it, you know, a very bad way or a very good way. And mine, it was just like I had to love myself whether, you know, my teeth were messed up or, you know, I gained some pounds or whatever. I see different things where people poke at, you know, trying to do different things to say something about my weight. And it's just like... You have to understand that person dealing with a lot of personal issues with their self because when you do that, you don't poke fun at how that person uh, lost a lot of weight or gained weight. I don't even do that. So I'll be looking at folks like that. I'm like, Dad, what is that person putting that person through? I'm not going to even laugh at something that somebody did like that because that's, you know, that's some dark stuff. I don't even touch because I, I see how people try to bring me in different things where they don't really tore somebody down. And I said, that's something that you really shouldn't be proud about. Only low self-esteem people do stuff like that, you know. But it will be different things where I really had to really go through some different changes in my life. Where I had to not worry about, you know, the things that people were doing behind my back, you know. It was just like me, me fearing going outside, wondering, you know, is this going to be my last day to live? And you already know that God got your back. You know, no matter what people are doing, God has that last say where he's going to tell you, you know, a lot of times we don't understand why people, you know, don't have a real, you know, long length in life where their life is cut short. You know, we can't question that or there'll be different times in your life where you don't stare, stand down the barrel of, you know, something that really, you know, could have really did something to you. And then so help me God, there'll be something that always constantly blocked that because that was something that I was really dealing with this week. You know, I really had to deal with that because it was just like, you know, 
whether or not I'm glad it didn't happen, but it was just, it made me look at life different. It made me look at people different, how brutal people can be, how careless people can be, and how dark and evil people can be. And that almost really made me bitter, but I had to be able to cut everything out. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I didn't want to speak on anything because I didn't know, is this something that you want to talk about or whatever? You know, because it wasn't, you know, trying to, you know, this person did this to me. No, this is something that I really had to battle with, you know, because it's like, I, you know, there'll be different times where I purposely try to take myself out many years ago. Not anything current, but many years ago, you know. And those are the different things where I said I'm not going to allow myself. I, you know, I said and one day when I, when I got fed up, this is not going to beat me. This is going to be something that's going to build me up in ways I didn't understand. And it's like, there'll be a lot of days I went day by day and not really understand God's understanding because I had to get out of my understanding and understand this is on his understanding. This is on his time. And this is how he unfolds and stuff. I can't question it. I just got to just go by faith, not by sight, not by things I see and all these different things. And sometimes it was really hard to do that. It was really, really hard to do that when, you, when you're when dealing with stuff like that because of the people you had to deal with, the things you had to deal with day by day, you know. And those are the things that, you know, really angered me because it'll be just like I'm trying to stay cordial. I'm trying to tolerate certain things and certain people where I'm, you know, if it was my choice, I would have been gone, you know. But these are those different things where God said I had to be able to go through because it was just like, you know, I'm, I'm look, <laughs> it's either me or them. And it'll be that point. I'm going to choose me. But it would just be like, you know, just trust what I'm doing. And that's all God would tell me. Just trust me when I say I'm doing this. I got you. And you going through some stuff. You really fighting some heavy battles. You really fighting some heavy battles. And there will be different things that will be done to you in this world that will make you very bitter. You know, it made me think about that song with Lecrae and uh, Tori Kelly where it's talking about hold on. You know, where he was like, you know, he's like, this world got me bitter. You know, I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to, you know, work hard on switching them letters. And that's true. You know, you go through a lot of things in life where it will make you look at yourself different. It will make you look at people different, you know. And it's just like, you know, I told people, if family can do this to people that you know, you, you would have did anything for. And just knowing it, it could be a president on a daggone dollar where somebody will flip on you just that quick. You know, and that, that would be more than what that is for you to do that to them. But a lot of people don't have that type of mindset like you do. People will flip on you real quick if they know they can have something like, you know, they live a good life that they truly didn't earn. You know, you just don't know what people are willing to do. You know, and that can make you very bitter and almost made me like that. It made me that way because I was angry. You know, I was angry. I was hurt. I was really ready to retaliate in the worst kind of way. You know, and really seeing it. Because it would be people that was involved in that mess. And I would really never thought they would have put me in a situation like that. But I had to be able to understand. This is where I'm going to really show you. Because God be telling you, if you don't want you to talk to somebody. And then you keep doing it. He going to show you. Let me show you reason why. I want you to not talk to certain people. Let me show you what they really up to when you think you don't know. Let me show you the conversations they had that they think you don't know about. And that mess can get very rough. It can be, get very vicious. And I had to say, in a matter of a couple of hours, I was able to really see that. And it scared the mess out of me. I'm like, wow. Okay. How you expect me to go buy this again? <laughs> you know, I'll be like, how you expect me? You know, I was mad. Mad as hell, like, I, I was ready to fight. I'm looking at different things in my object. It could be something, this decoration, where I'm sort of pure seen as a weapon, you know. And it would be something like that. And like, nah, nah, I'm showing you what your battle is up against. And this is why I'm telling you to stay out of people's face. Stop talking to people unless it's something you have to say. You know, don't be scared about nothing. The only person you need to fear is me. And I'm telling you not to fear me. They need to fear me, but I don't need you to fear me. I put you on this purpose. If they want to be mad, they got to be mad at me. They picking a fight with the wrong person. And it's just like for you to be able to do that. A lot of people always feel like that people get mad and envious of you. Of something that had nothing to do with you. You just sit up here and say you're going to choose to fight the war of this world. You never picked about exactly what that war was going to be. You, a lot of times we don't know what it is until we done jumped in and don't realize we don't sign that, that, you don't sign that paper. You don't even see, you didn't see the fine print. That you won't have to deal with. 
A lot of people get mad at you because this is your journey. Why they got person got to be picked for this? We didn't pick that. God did. So you get mad at me for what? You need to get mad at him. Anytime somebody trying to sit up here and step in, in, in your purpose, they messing with God. They ain't messing with you. And that's the wrong person you do not want to run up against. Because like I said in the other videos, and I say a lot, you know, when God sitting up here, he talking. But then it, it's just like he cried behind every test. And it'll be that, you know, I'll be looking. And I'm just like, common sense ain't too common because, baby, <clears throat> if you see what I saw, I would. if I was you, I would sit back. You know, go ahead and get right with God. Let me let me go ahead and do that now before it's too late. But some folks don't. You know, they want to say take that silence is for him saying that's the go ahead. We 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 okay with what they're doing to people. We okay about how they thinking they getting away with something. No, they ain't what it is. When God get eerily quiet, and that, that when I say eerily quiet, that's eerily. Let me go ahead and sit myself back. God, people would be here. I swear to God, I ain't do that. And I ain't no good way you lying. I'm like. Are you out your mind? <laughs> Are you really right? I don't, you know, and it'd be just one of those different things. And you really getting tested right now. You are really getting tested right now. But it's just this stuff you see, you know, you, you know, universe wants to be able to see how many things was placed in your life that brought some kind of resistance. It came some kind of hard acceptance for you to be able to digest some of that truth was that true pill was hard for you to, you know, you almost choked on. This is going to make you a better person. Even so much where the world's actions want to make you better. But when you turn that pain into purpose as the power, that makes you very beastly. It makes you very beastly. So it will be different things where people want to come at you because they feel some kind of way. Because you may have a big come up that you didn't even see coming. Or it will be a blessing that will just shake the whole nation that this was placed upon you and people are going to have something to say you know be you have to be able to un understand where well, i can't take it personal you know i can't take it personal maybe if the shoe was on the other foot maybe i'll be the same way and be you know be flexing on that person be mad at that person why that couldn't be me you know you never know but it'll be in that situation where you know you have did the dirt you don't you don't walk through the dirt you don't had different places where you don't had to, you know, dodge bullets, arrows, and hammer, you know, some axes or whatever that was thrown at you. So whatever God opened for you, you earned that. You worked hard for that. And don't let nobody else tell you different. If anybody got to go against that mess, it was just the fact is they mad because they couldn't stop it. Or they mad because that wasn't, you know, they, they put in some, you know, so it brought some kind of truth out. Something they didn't want to, you know, they wanted everybody else to see as a lie. You keep moving. You know, your purpose is because it's your purpose. But you can use everything that was sent to break you. It made you. Everything that brought you down or brought you back up. Everything that placed you in the darkness brought you stronger towards your light. Everything has some kind of, everything we have to understand that everything that we have faced is bringing some line of, of a blessing in the skies. And sometimes when we're in the midst of that, it's hard to be able to see that. And I had to be able to tell myself that a lot. You don't know how many blessings that you are getting because God's telling you to stay away from certain people that don't have good intentions for you. You don't know how they're trying to walk you right on the enemy line. Just because they want certain things to happen to you on purpose because they feel like you don't deserve that. Or they feel like they, they're bad, you know, their bad mistakes and F-ups got them to the point where they could have been there with you and they messed that up. Because they thought, whatever. You know, these are the things that's going to make you a beast. And don't let nobody tell you anything. Whatever blessing comes in your life, you, you, you hold that and you hold that dear to your heart. And don't let anybody that got anything negative to say about you make you fold. Because you earn those stripes. You own those scars you have. And it's just showing that person. I don't went through some stuff and look at the blessings that I got out of from things that were sent to destroy me. So these are the exact things that you're going to be that example of the world. You can get through anything if you want to do the job to do it. Because a lot of people, they want that glory, but they don't want that story you have to go to to get that glory. People want to be a part of the outcome, but don't want to be a part of the process. Not realizing the process is where you decide if that person going to be a part of the outcome. So you keep going. You got the people that's been there for you, don't wrote for you, even when you only had lint in your pocket to get you by. Those are the people that deserve to be there when that shine comes to you. 
those people that left you when all you when when they felt like they didn't need you at that time, they definitely don't need to be a part of your come up. Don't even bring them a part of that. You keep moving and knowing you earned everything that you, that God has coming for you. Every door that comes open. Different people is just like when you close one door, five more open, along with a couple of windows and a daggone roof. Depending on what your mess is. But you earn that. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of that. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Storm Pro Healer and Farrah Hazard. Much love to you. Farrah, I be getting all my stuff from like Facebook, Instagram, or if I go on Pinterest, that's where I be getting all my stuff from. Or I see it on, up on the um, timeline <laughs> on uh, on YouTube. I be, Whatever catch my eye and I know it really speaks to me or make me laugh. I love to be able to share that with y'all because you never, I know, I don't know what kind of funk we can be in that day. You really need something to just really get you out of that vibration of feeling low. So, you know, I try to do that. That's what hey, we we'll do. We usually move through amusement, you know, with those tricksters and jokesters or whatever. But I always leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. Whether you may be going through some stuff, you really trying to understand you know, your path of purpose and you know universe is blessing you enough to get past that knowledge onto you i try my best to be able to do that i love the fact that we can connect like that we're growing we're supporting each other being able to know we're all molding our tribe you know we're healing through it at the same time you know and being a part of that is truly a blessing so i help out the best way i possibly can whatever we speak on is highly confidential um it, i also have a part of my my channel where it's the community section where it has the podcast as well as different posts you know whether you know there's a lot of different things that's going on you know we're going through a lot of healing ending and closing cycles out karmic tides thank you, jesus is severing you know you're going through those different things and it may be hard to do right now and a lot of things are getting real <laughs> really real for you and you're gonna have to make really bold choices this time step out your comfort zone step out of that fear and just go out on faith and right now it's really telling you to jump on faith if anything is there's a sign that you needed that this is that sign right now jump in on your faith there's so many different things that's working on the other side of that fear to guide you towards faith it'll give you the ultimate glory so you go ahead and do that whatever you're needing towards your your vibration or your manis to be able to bring into fruition whether it's confidence belief within yourself balance healing i'm seeing so many of those different things towards you a million times fold you know you have the potential and the purpose to make things matter to change things that really truly matter so don't let anything or anyone try to tell you different you know you stay consistent and persistent on that don't stay asleep stay woke on yourself you have the hidden potential that you may not even know you have you're showing up for a person within yourself that you never knew was there so you keep on going you know the devil will try to commit to you towards anything to make you feel like you don't have what it takes or you you're never going to love or light is never going to change for you or things are not going to ever get better because you know that door may open up for you tomorrow so he's going to tell you to give up today keep moving keep going stay persistent and consistent let the, you know let your days be prosperous and abundant so i'm sending all that love towards your way you know um even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity for as large frequencies you never know those things really take somebody a long way and just for you doing it just for you know just helping out somebody else and take you even further much love to you shalom i say uh namaste god bless peace much love